right, time to theorize some practice. What the fuck was that? All right, time to theory. Now, like I told you before, the reducer will just try to change the data, all right? But the reducer gets some action. So you're gonna send an action to the reducer and then the reducer is gonna look to the action and he's gonna say, okay, if this action is this one, I'm going to change this. If the action is, for example, start, I'm going to start. If the action is stop, I'm going to stop. If the action is count, I'm going to count, okay? So as you can see, the word is if, 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 if. So we could do if, else, if, else, if, else, but that is not elegant and that will require a lot of code and it won't be as nice as the other option we have, which is called the switch statement. Now the switch statement gets a lot of hate from people. I don't know why, I fucking like it. And what it does is that it helps us handle, um, I think better conditions than um, the normal if, else, if, else, if, else, all right? So I'm going to create a function that is gonna say hello to you in many languages, okay? That's it. And we're gonna make a comparison about which one sounds uh, looks better for our code, okay? So the first one will be to do it an if else, if else, if else, all right? So I'm going to create a function that is called greet, greet. And here I will say language, all right? So if language is Spanish, here. If language is Spanish, I am going to say return hola, okay, else if language is Korean, I'm going to say, oh, has hard, uh, añohaseyo, añohaseyo, fucking hell, okay. If the language is Greek, I'm going to return Yasu, all right? If the language is Italian, is Italian, I am going to return ciao, all right, and that's it, one more language, let's do one more language, English. Return, hello, awesome. So we come here, okay, and we're going to greet people on Spanish. Hola, in Greek, Yasu, in Italian, ciao, in English, hello, and in Turkish, <gasps> undefined. So here we have to say else, return, don't know that one. Okay, let's try again. We refresh and we say hello in Turkish. Don't know that one. Okay, so look at our beautiful, beautiful function, greet language. If language is Spanish, else if language Korean, else if language Greek, else if, blah, blah, else if language Italian, else if language English, else I don't know that one. In my opinion, this is shit. A lot of uh, else, a lot of uh, parentheses, a lot of fucking uh, curly brackets, not nice, not nice. Enter, switch. How would you do this on switch? Very simple. Function, same thing, greet, language and here it comes switch language we're gonna switch language and if the language the case is spanish hola case korean return Case, Greek, case, 
Italian. Case, English. Hello. And if nothing else matters, like Metallica, default return. Let's see if it works. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe I made a mistake. We'll see. Boom. All right. Now, grid Turkish. Fuck. Grid in Turkish. Still working. Same result. Looks bloody different. English. Working. Greek. Working. Look at the difference. Huh? So one is full of if else, if else, if else. Look at this one. Much better. You see? I don't think I have to explain a lot about the switch statement. As you see, is I think it's self-explanatory. Here we say we're going to switch between all the options for the language. In case this is Spanish, case Korean. If the case is Greek, case Italian, case English. If nothing else, default. That's it for the switch statement, people. The same thing as if, if, if else, if else, if else, if else, but it looks so much better. And we just say switch, parenthesis, the variable we want to switch on, and then we explain all the cases that this variable could have. If the case is Italian, if the case is Greek, if the case is English, and default, that one. That's it. As you can see, so much better, so much cleaner. So now that we have this concept, we can start building our uh, tomato reducer. So see you there.